So uh, we'll talk about war games in a moment, but uh, Johnny Gargano will address his future on this Tuesday's edition of NXT. So if you didn't watch war games last night, I don't know what's going on with Johnny Gargano, okay? Let me repeat that. I don't know what's going on with Johnny Gargano. But I'm getting this feeling that he's staying with WWE. I could be a thousand percent wrong, okay? But Johnny Gargano's contract expired, and he signed a short-term deal, which, and I could be wrong about this, but to my understanding, it was through the pay-per-view, which means his contract should be expired right now. Perhaps he actually signed through television, all right? That could be what happened. But I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but uh, there have been a lot of people that have been fired, released from WWE over the past uh, a couple of years now. And, uh, you know, a lot of them don't get a send-off. And they were, they did the show, and it's, it was literally part of the storyline that this might be the end for Johnny Gargano. And him and Ciampa were talking about it. This could be the end. Let's do this one more time. They were doing DIY spots during the match. The fans were chanting, thank you, Johnny. Now it turns out he's coming back on Tuesday to address his future. And if WWE were thinking, this guy's out of here, he's going to AEW, this is not in their wheelhouse. So uh, it's possible that he is not leaving immediately. It is possible he's re-signed another deal. It's possible he's coming back to WWE. I mean, they certainly... One way or the other, they're not letting him on TV Tuesday if he's not under contract. It's just not happening. So I guess we'll find out, but uh, all of this here is... Uh, I guess his extension expires on uh, Friday. So he is under contract uh, for Tuesday's show. But uh, it is him coming on television to address his future... Uh, that to me is is a uh, makes me think he might be staying, but we'll see. We'll see what he says on Tuesday. Yeah, I think so too. And I'd be interested to know what Candice LeRae's contract status is because if he wants to take this down to basically being a coach, and I think you know, look, there's value in having Johnny Gargano there. He's been wrestling since he was what, 16 years old or whatever it is. The guy's been around forever. You know, he and Ciampa, if they are looking at them and going, or Triple H, again, look, it's not like Triple H is dead here. I know people want him to leave and start his own company or whatever nonsense people think Triple H is going to do, but he's still there, and he is two, those are two guys that he really, he, those two in Samoa Joe, he's obviously got an affinity for, and there's plenty of other guys there. You're Steve Carino's, you're you know, plenty of guys where they could assimilate in nicely into the system. Now, could they be fired at any time like everybody else? Yeah, sure. But maybe they look at the landscape right now, they see what's going on with AEW, and they go, uh, hey, that's going to be there. <laughs> look, AEW is going nowhere. So maybe we go ahead and continue to ride this thing out because we are happy here, and my wife is under contract. And whatever. I just, I can see him not being a regular character in NXT if he does stick around because I don't know how much that body has. And I think that's the same way with Ciampa, too. At some point, we're going to see that torch pass to Braun Breaker. And I don't think he's going to have a foot out of the company. I think he's going to be there, too. Dude, I don't know if you guys remember this or not. There's a fella. His name was Daniel Bryan. And uh, his deal was coming due. And he loved WWE. And he was very torn about whether to stay or go. And they very much wanted him to stay. And they even attempted to make a deal with New Japan so that Brian Danielson could go work New Japan while working for WWE. I mean, they really wanted this guy to stay, and he really loved working there. And do you remember his last appearance? It was not there to address his future. It was not there to say goodbye and thank you. It was being choked out in the middle of the ring by Roman Reigns and left for dead. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with Gargano. But yes, his deal expires Friday. So we'll see what he says on it Tuesday. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on 
I got a P. P gets light. <laughs> <laughs> this was 10 and 8, 21. Closed line. Bill, Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? It? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.